Hi, Paul here from Santa Cruz County GIS. This is video number three of our video learning series. This series is designed to get you familiar with using our online mapping application, GIS Web. This video will explore the user interface of GIS Web so you can take full advantage of the application. The most obvious part of GIS Web is the map itself. GIS Web was designed primarily as a mapping application. However, the power of GIS data make it much more powerful than a simple map. The topic of GIS data and the results you get from GIS Web will be discussed in a different video. The primary use of GIS Web is to obtain parcel specific information. I will show you a basic parcel APN search and then move on to show you the other features of the GIS web interface. The GIS web interface features a tabbed region at the very top portion of the application. The tabs are labeled as search, select, draw, tools, and print. Note that when you click on one of these tabs, the region immediately below the tabs changes. Immediately adjacent to these tabs is a small array of radio buttons that allow you to change the base map of GIS Web. You can switch from the default 2007 aerial photo or view the 2003 aerial photo image as well as a terrain base map or the USGS quads base map or turn off the base maps altogether. Immediately below the top tab and base map sections is a region that will change depending on what tab you have selected. Since we recognize that a parcel search is the primary function for most users of GIS Web, we set that as the default for step one. We will review how to search in the next video of this series. In addition to the map display and search areas, there is also a toolbar to the left of the map. The toolbar contains the navigation tools for getting around the map, including tools to zoom in and out, as well as pan. Zooming in and out on the map simply requires that you click the tool you're interested in, then going to the map to click and drag a rectangle. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can use that to zoom in and out. That's zooming in with the scroll wheel. That's zooming out with the scroll wheel. Panning the map can be performed by selecting the pan tool, then click hold on the map to move the map around without changing the zoom level. Below these tools are two green arrows which will jump you to the last map region you looked at or jump you forward to a map region you just viewed. The globe button will zoom your map out to the extent of all the data and it will return your map to the default view of Santa Cruz County. Below the globe button is a clear tool button. This will clear any selected items that you have on your map. GIS Web also has not one but two identify tools. The blue tool will identify on all data layers currently viewed in the map. The red tool will only identify on the parcel layer. Below these tools is a Google Street View tool, 
which allows you to click the tool and then click on the map. If the region you click on the map has been included in Google Street View, you will automatically be taken to Street View in a separate browser tab or window. Below the Street View button are two buttons for creating parcel info reports. These will be demonstrated in a different video. As mentioned in video one of this series, GIS Web contains over 130 data layers for you to explore. But how do you access all that data? There is a section of GIS Web called the Table of Contents, or TOC, which is tucked away to the left of the main toolbar. To view the TOC, you can click the white arrow above the Zoom In tool, and the TOC will slide in from the left side of the map. You will then see how the data is categorized by group. Clicking the plus sign next to one of the categories will expand the category and allow you to see the data in that category. Click to place a check mark next to a data layer and the data will be made visible on the map. Results from queries and searches will appear at the bottom of the application. But first we're going to close the TOC by clicking that left arrow one more time. Now we'll go to the bottom of the application and click the up arrow to reveal the results tabs at the bottom of the map. Again, note a tabbed interface that is very similar to the TOC in the way that results are grouped. And to close the results panel, just click that downward arrow. GIS Web also offers an extensive help section just click the blue question mark button. When you click a tab at the top of GIS Web, either search, select, draw, tools, or print, the help page changes to give you information about the use and functions on that tab. This concludes video number three of our GIS Web video learning series describing the GIS Web user interface. Thanks for watching.